Right then, next job for today. We're going to fit the screen to this area here. Ugly, horrible, black, shiny things they are. I've got a bit of a steal on it. I bought it second hand on eBay, so thanks to whoever you were. Okay, so first things first. This is the left side bracket for the left side of the bike. It slots round behind the indicator, or for you Americans out there, your turn signal. It goes into this screw hole here, which is holding on your TFT dash, and it goes underneath where the cable, where my USB power cable is rooted, and bolts onto the top mount for your strut, for your suspension, for your fork, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to go get some tools and I'm going to start on doing bolts. If you're all sitting comfortably, I'll begin. First things first, 3mm Allen key to take out this top one. It might be tight. Well, mine won't be because it's been off four times already. I've had four, four screens on the bloody thing. So we're going to get you out. And there we are, take the washer with it as well. We're going to do these one side at a time, by the way. We're not in a massive rush. You need a 6mm Allen key for the stanchion bolt here. Let's see if we can crack that one off. Oh, it's going. Hopefully the um, fork don't shoot up in here. Anyway, bolt out. No washer in there. And we are now going to replace them with these, and these come with aluminium washers or spacers in the pack. I'm going to put the Allen key down on my mud guard, not my fender. So we slot it round behind the indicator, and then we have to put the spacers on. So we've got one big bolt and one big spacer. That's for the bottom, but one little one for the top. We're going to put it behind the bracket and slide the bolt through, and then locate our hole. And that provides enough of a standoff because I guess they would have had to put a funny angle on it to fit it behind there. Big one is the bottom one. This one squeezes into the hole of the fork stanchion thing, holder. And then the bolt. Ew. I'll be honest, it's a bit fiddly in there. And the bolt is longer to accommodate that, again, because it's a standoff. It's a washer and a standoff. Allen key. Let's do the top one up. Three mil for the top. So 3mm in, and let's wind this up and get it located, and then the 6mm into the bottom, now like I said this is second hand, I didn't buy this brand new, so some of the bolts are a little bit rusty, but they work perfectly fine so far. The first, the first two have gone in no problem. Now I'm not doing them up massively tight. I'm just doing them hand tight. They probably are torque settings, and yes, I should know what they are. But no, I don't have a torque wrench. That's it. First bracket done. So now I'm going to pop the second one on. Crack the little free. And that wash it. God damn it! That washer got stuck. This was nice of KTM, wasn't it, to fit two totally different washers, because they probably either broke that one or dropped it or lost it, so they put this one on instead. That's really pikey, KTM. Right, same again. Allen key. Second bracket. Uh, should go that way. And it does. Oh. Don't! Oh. I didn't take the bottom one off, did I? Very astute of you people out there in viewer land. Very important tip, when you're putting an Allen key into an Allen bolt head, make sure that you seat it properly. Because if you don't, you can strip it. And trust me, if you strip an Allen key head in there, it's a very, very, very big job to get it out. And I speak from experience because I bought a very expensive dive watch and tried to clean it. Uh, and in doing so, found out how crap the Allen bolts were that were holding it to get holding the shroud on and it rounded out and then I had to dremel a flathead slot into it so I could cut it off wasn't a fun job that's for sure All right, let's put that little bugger in here and let's find the others where are they all 
So we're going to go little ones first on top, we'll put that one in first. So slide it round behind your indicator, little bolt through, washer on, or stand off on even. Now I could put the washers back on with that, but is there really any point? And then we'll get the bigger one, and that pops into there, hold that on the front, and pop the bigger bolt in. And then start finger windering it, windering it, finger winding it. Once you've got it as tight as you can with your fingers, pinch it up with your allen key. I always like to do it finger first if I can because if there's any undue resistance and you put leverage on it like this you won't necessarily know that there's crap in there or whether or not you've um, cross threaded it potentially until it's too late and trust me you do not want to find out once it's too late okay that's that one done feels tight enough another couple of little cranks on that yep that feels tight enough Right, that's the brackets in. And ready yourself, here she comes. Da, 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 da. There it is, a big ugly bit of plastic. A bit ugly, ain't they? Whew. So like I said before, these are four mils, but we're gonna take one, put it through the hole, locate the washer, the thread on the back, and finger wind it in. <laughs> Now I do think, I do firmly believe that in pictures these are seriously ugly. Seriously ugly. But from this angle, standing this close to it, I don't think it's too bad. 